mining, as it is today, was introduced into the Gold Coast, now present-day Ghana, by the colonial masters in the military and other security services across West Africa. The first fiscal training school was established in Ibadan, Nigeria, as part of the West African Command Training School in 1940. Later in 1945, the school was moved to the then Gold Coast and was situated at the Signal Regiment Gymnasium at Bema Camp. Subsequently, the Armed Forces Fiscal Training Corps was formed later in 1948 with its headquarters at the Elwax Stadium. The Fiscal Training School was later redesignated in 1958 and moved to its present location at the Military Academy and Training School, now known as the Training and Doctrine Command in 19, Training and Doctrine Command. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to appeal to all, particularly our by Kujo Valencia and there's also Ziggy Dance by students of Mo Bankwe Evangelical Presby Junior High School and that is the Ziggy Dance Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for our viewing pleasure today, we will have a series of groundworks. Deepest, they will also showcase individual tricks. The officer commanding the school is Captain Sulemana. The school sergeant major is sen Senior Warrant Officer Class 2, Isa Kofi. We now have the leader of the group, Lieutenant Richard Abofwa, asking for permission to commence the show. For our viewing pleasure, we will have the forehead spring. Spring in pairs, staggered flying dive and roll, front side. Spring in pairs. We now have the target flying diver roll.
Jesus. It is a traditional belief that whatever you ask through the chief priest, the Zakweto can As mentioned earlier, please do not try any of these stunts at home. It takes years of training to master these skills. We now have individual tricks. Another round of applause. You just have to believe. The Zakbeto originated among the Ewes at the southern sector through Togo and Benin. In the olden days, we will have the breadth way and the length way. For the breadth way, we will have through the and for the length way, we will have our stride folks dive and roll, and then the long arm drop. For the breath way, we'll have through the vaults, while the length way will display a stride vaults. Timing and synchronization is very key to executing this performance. We now have dive and roll through the breathway and through the breathway will not give us front somersaults, while the lengthway will give us long arm drop.
timing and synchronization is key to the perfect execution of these stunts. Shall we give them a round of applause for those wonderful performances? And while at it, we acknowledge the contribution of our media partners, the Volta Star Radio, Sun City Radio, City, and Nyatepe. It is now time for the final display, which will be the front somersault through the loop and the dive and roll through the loop. Excitements to the display. Wonderful. Armed Forces Fiscal Training School. believed the gods protected them especially at night it is believed that the movement we are seeing are created shall we give them a round of applause for that excellent display Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This marks the end of the display by the by ghosts of our ancestors. School. They will give us the pyramid formation. That is the leader of the group, Lieutenant Richard Abafwa. Sound mind, sound body. That is the motto of the school. Shall we give them a round of applause? In peace. Thank you very much, the Ghana Forces Fiscal Training School.
for that excellent piece. We want to say a very big thank you to Nestle Ghana Limited for supporting this anniversary. Agricultural Development Bank, Tosh FM, Victory FM, West FM, as well as Volta Online. And then also to the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Archibald Yaulecha, for in the Volta region. Properties, Adonai Estates Limited, the National Lottery Authority, Ghana Link, the National Youth Authority, as well as the Just Born Group of Companies, the National Lottery Authority, Ghana Link. the National Youth Authority from the helicopter by the Special Forces elements from the 64 Infantry Regiment of the Army Special Operations Brigade. They will be doing this in conjunction with a Z9 helicopter from the Ghana Air Force. Fast roping is being practiced in modern armies to afford troop speed and maneuverability to conduct special operations both at night and during the day. This display is conducted by one of the special forces units of the Ghana Army. The demonstration was put together by the commanding officer of the 64 Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Ajiman, assisted by Captain Ibrahim Yerisa. The scenario for today's demonstration involves a group of disgruntled individuals who have adopted a UN VIP and are demanding for a ransom before she is released. Due to the specialized and high risk nature of such operations, the Commander in Chief, 